based. So I wrote in various styles. I can create all kinds of styles in Tamil. So that's why I choose to, to write in Tamil. So it's not an automatic selection or it is not a, an inheritance. I, I, I love to write in Tamil because uh, Tamil is my, the language of my mind and I, my dreams. And uh, while I'm starting to write in Tamil, once I wrote some fiction in, in English, 30 years back, one of my gurus, Arthur Oyama, said, if you are going to write in Tamil, you have to write in Tamil and Malayalam only, not in English. English is entirely different language. There is entirely different section, uh, entirely different diction. If you are writing in English and Tamil, you will lose the musicality of Tamil, the inner music of Tamil, the rhythm of Tamil. That's more important. Great writers always live in a language, in a single language. So you choose one language. So I, I, I choose them. You know, if I, if I can add to that, um, about in India and its languages, I had this experience just to share with you. Way back in 1991, I landed in, in uh, Trivandrum, didn't want for you. And I hired myself an Enfield 350 bullet. It's, it's, it's one of my one of my sicknesses, motorbikes. So um, it took me 30 minutes to hire that bike. In those days, you needed an all-states permit, seven different visits from seven different days to the police commissioner's office to finally get an all-states permit. But then I traveled all the way from Trivandrum to Delhi. And it took me 21 days to do so. And within these 21 days, I saw uh, um, India like a lot of you haven't. But what I discovered was there were no such things as language barriers. Like you cross this line, you switch language. It just doesn't happen. It was a miracle. What happened to me was because I don't understand a word of Tamil, at least not at that time, but I still didn't understand Urdu and Hindi. So as I kept going north, the degree of comprehensibility of the language I was hearing on the roads out there kept increasing, kept increasing, kept increasing, until I kind of reached this area, including getting lost in the desert in Rajasthan, that at that point in time, I could talk to everyone and, and with, with no language barrier at all. And this is what I mean. It just, there is no such thing as a language barrier. I think it probably happens like when you cross over, say for example, from, I, I didn't go that far. I mean, if you can go into, you know, uh, Kashmir and then perhaps into Afghanistan, and then from there into Iran, and then from there into, you know, what is today, uh, the Turkish Kurdish territory, and then so on. I don't think you'll ever run into a language barrier. I just thought I should put it out there. Yeah, I just wanted, if I may, uh, what both of you said, I, I, I want to say something, uh, just uh, what you said, and then what you said. See, I think, um, I, I wanted to say just two things. What do you say that you have to leave the language to write in that language? Totally agree, but in that sense, um, you when you live in a country like me, uh, 25 years, you know, and when in my dreams, people from Calcutta, rickshaw puller from Calcutta, or my mother, or my father, or my neighbors, who don't speak a single word in French, but in my dream sense to come, and in the muffled language of dream, you know, because in dream you don't really hear the language, there is no sound, but you have the impression uh, that somebody's talking there to you. There is a popular muffled. saying that style is in your ears. Muffled, yeah. muffled language of the dream, people of Bengal, my mother including, used to talk uh, in French. I started writing my travelogue in Bengali, which is my native language, not mother tongue, father's tongue. French tongue, lover's tongue, political tongue, etc. etc. Et so I started learning, just uh, writing my travelogue in Bengali 25 years back, in 2002, 2003, like that, almost 25 years. And it wasn't working. I, I wrote poems in Beng uh, Bengali. Somebody gave me some award in Bengal from Best Young Bengals uh, award when I was 17 years old. Um, it wasn't working at all. 
because I was subconsciously thinking in French and transmitting from French to Bengali, trying to transmit from French to Bengali, you know, and it wasn't working at all. So I stopped the thing and thought, okay, fine, it's a sweet kind of schizophrenia, let's take, you know, the, get the most out of it and started writing in French. That was my first stage. But secondly, when you live in that country, you cannot really translate the taste of the wine, red wine, white wine, different 